How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I want to quickly show you guys the best VPNs for Hong Kong. If you're not able to access ChatGPT from Hong Kong, I believe it is not available there. Uh, you'll be able to use a VPN in order to access ChatGPT, especially with ChatGPT 4 coming out. Um, it's really a loss if you don't have access to it. It's such a useful tool for really anything. Um, and of course, you can alternate between ChatGPT. I believe at the moment, ChatGPT 4 is only available for Plus members, and I am a Plus member, but it will become available later on. But as of now, I think it's only available for Plus members. But even then, ChatGPT 3.5, both default and legacy, are still very useful models that I highly recommend uh, using for whatever kind of tasks you have um, for your chat GPT model here, you can just give it any kind of task and uh, it will help you out with it. Now, if you're in Hong Kong, let's say, and you're not able to access it, what you can do is use a VPN in order to uh, access chat GPT as if you're in a country where chat GPT is available. So you can use Express, Nord or Surfshark, and I'll talk about those in just a second. Uh, but basically, once you've signed up to the VPN, you can click the links in the description down below to claim a discount. Once you've signed up to one of these VPNs, by the way, they do have a 30 day money back guarantee, just in case you're not satisfied with any of them. But once you've installed the application, just use your credentials, log in and simply click on a country where it is available. So let's just say the United States and you can connect to it. And once you're connected, you'll just need to um, provide a, a phone number from that country. So maybe if you have any friends outside uh, of Hong Kong, you can use their phone number in order to uh, verify it and you should be good to go from there. Uh, you'll be able to use chat GPT. And that is pretty much it. Now I know there are too many VPNs out there and I have these recommended uh, for a reason. Uh, so let's just talk a little bit about these VPNs. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best most reliable vpn is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability express vpn is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium vpn next up is nord vpn and nord is what i consider to be the best value vpn it has over 5400 servers in 60 countries and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a vpn for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blocks ads malware written websites as well as protect your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature and so nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as expressvpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to expressvpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker 
for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.